Hello and welcome to this edition of Culture as a Dare. My name is Alex Monk and this is a festival that I have been invited by Emma and Richard of Culture as a Dare to curate. So thank you so much to them for inviting me and I'd like to tell you about the artists that have so kindly contributed this wonderful music for this festival. So I'll just tell you a little bit about all of those. Uh, first of all, we have Diana Collier, whose work you may know from the Psych Folk Collective, The Owl Service. Diana is a singer-songwriter, and on this track, Wind Bent Thorn, which I think is a very evocative title, and this, this song also has very intriguing I would say fascinating lyrics which are accompanied which are sung by Diana's beautiful voice and accompanied by this very delicate finger-picking guitar a great track and I do I have been lucky enough to see Diana perform on more than one occasion in as a solo performer and also with uh, with other musicians, and it's 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 a it's a wonder to behold. So do check out Diana's work. And second up, we have Michael Plater, who hails from Australia originally, and but tours quite frequently here in the UK and in Australia and Europe as well. And he has, he's a singer-songwriter and his work is really infused by, I would say, folkloric and as ancestral motifs that come through in his music. There's a real, I guess, a, a, poet, a poet's approach to creating his songs and his live shows are also really worth seeing. So do try and get to one of those if you can. Next up we have Vukashin Delic, who is a guitarist and multi-instrumentalist out, out of Belgrade in Serbia and I've been fortunate enough to tour with Vukashin in the past and this track is a live track called Radio San Live and I just love the way that Vukashin approaches the guitar in such a playful, Dadaist, innovative way. He's so creative using found objects, um, contact mics, mobile phones, you name it, he'll apply it to create this very unpretentious but very serious kind of sonic landscape. And again, a, a brilliant live performer. Following that, we have out of Portugal, Miguel Amral, and this track is called A Vast Confusion. Miguel, I think, would say himself that he's influenced by the American primitives, such as John Fahey, and then the more ornate approaches of Robbie Basho, Basho. And certainly, Miguel, you can see that he, he takes from those that from that tradition, but he really creates his own unique take on that, which is really beautiful. It seems his playing is so sensitive, so considered. These wonderful melodic arpeggios that just hypnotize you. And this piece is accompanied by a visual dance piece, which really complements the music. Following that, we have um, a piece by myself called Merlin's Garden, which is a live improvised pe uh, piece of music featuring my cat Merlin. Um, say, uh, after that, we have the Slate Pipe Banjo Draggers, which is Andy Rowe's project. Andy, like myself, is based here in Hackney in East London. And Andy's track is called A Simple Heart Will Eat. And I would say that Andy has a real painterly approach to music. This is music created by cut-ups, by collage, by kind of dream elements that are infused together. So this is a particular kind of alchemy that Andy creates with his music. 
and following that we have dream maps which is dominic simpson another hackney resident um, who who has contributed a track called in stormy nights part three now dominic is a guitarist lots of guitarists <laughs> that i seem to have chosen perhaps as i'm also a guitarist but like i suppose like all of us he dominic hasn't just stayed with the guitar he's experimented he uses the clarinet he sings he uses samplers synthesizers so his his uh, live performances are really arresting and unpredictable and improvisational and i know that when he he plays as well he kind of gets involved he walks out into the audience with the clarinet so it becomes it feels much more like an event rather than just a normal gig you know so Dominic also has a project with Zishan Sawa which is which is called Flowers in Winter so this col collaboration between Zishan and Dominic involves Zishan's beautiful singing and the, the, this track is called Evening Light so we have these beautiful vocals surrounded by these delays and echoes which are in the in the background taking you down these kind of aneric vistas if you like this mis these into mysterious realms that's that was my experience of it anyway when i when i was listening to it um then we have um next up we have robin rocket and a track called seeing now robin i love the way that robin uses loops and i suppose this track is a, an example of that I mean, I've been fortunate enough to see Robin play live using brass instruments and loops to create this this uh, very kind of transfixing performance that really locks you in um, in a very particularly beautiful way. And and so this track seeing, I suppose, reminds me somewhat of Steve Reich and those that kind of modernist approach to the minimalist approach but i suppose the the where robin takes it is is a kind of maximalism in in the sense that we have all of these kind of effects which are added so it has this kind of ecstatic element to it and that and robin also runs her own events which are absolutely brilliant here um in hackney at cafe otto the the experimental music venue so do get along to, to one of those if you can following that we have Algis Fedyevas from Vilnius and in Lithuania and this track is called Vike now Algis again is is, is is a guitarist and a brilliant one at that there, there's just a technical ease of mastery to Al, Algis's work but real innovation and you you just don't you just he takes you on journeys with with the guitar and with his voice you you just don't know where it will lead you and i just love the way on this particular track he's using the the, the recorder as well as the guitar and which something i'd not seen before because i was fortunate enough to tour with with, with algus and really get to know his his wonderful work on quite a deep level and i just love the way that he the, you know there's quite long instruments instrumental passages in his work and then and then you'll have these vocals which just come in and kind of take you so, by surprise it's it, it, it's it's such a wonderful approach to songwriting after that we have the haunters um now these are indeed this this track is haunting using the haunters are using samples and loops and drones to create this particular unheimlich sense of menace you just don't know what's around the corner what's coming next but you're fascinated by it and i think that's the kind of feel that the haunters are creating here and you you also find with a lot of this kind of work that's coming out on atheric records which i do urge you to 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 check out from based in yorkshire in the uk so do check out the haunters in the ground next up we have mark stone who's a flautist and has contributed two tracks called full moon and surrender 
Now Mark's not only a flautist, he's also a guitarist and a multi-instrumentalist. He's played in loads of bands over the years and he, he sings too and he just creates these mesmerising pieces of music which really, there's really spiritual music as well. They're really magical, transcendental, all of, that, all of these kind of words which may seem a little bit cliched but they really apply to to, to Mark's work, they don't. They're not sufficient to either to describe the wonder that that that, that he kind of creates. I mean, for example, this track "Full Moon" here, I, it ma it made me think about these kind of spells that the 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 um, in ancient Rome that uh, th these kind of mystical voices that are used to that are wordless voices that are used for incantations to create spells and so for the, fel the spell to take effect you need to use this voice kind of voice and on this track Full Moon that seems to be on ev evidence here um, which really contrasts this track Surrender which feels much more kind of anxious and claustrophobic so I love the way that Mark sort of plays around with atmospheres and lastly, we have Komarun Wunecker, which is um, a project between uh, and Andy Rowe and myself. And this is from a live improvisation that we did at Valley Studios at, in Tottenham. And this this is really kind of again just experimenting with samples and with guitars. So I, ho I hope you enjoy this one, but that's all for now i really urge you to check out all of the artists share share their work around buy their music from their band camps do do that directly from their their websites because these are all independent independent musicians all of this work is exclusive to this festival so they've kindly contributed completely exclusive tracks only for us here so do support them thank you so much for listening